Hello everyone, Zach from Average Joe Warhammer here with another Kit Bash Showcase video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my custom World Eaters Demon Prince. Uh, so just to start off real quick, the base model for this, if you wanted to make your own, is a Necromunda Goliath Berserker, I think it's called, uh, and it's available from Forge World. I'll have it pop up on the screen, re screen real quick here. Um, and then, so that is your base model. And then from there, what you're going to need is some Terminator parts, some Chaos Terminator parts. That's going to be your axe and your claw here. Um, and then this is a Hellbrute head. This is some part from a Mauler Fiend, Forge Fiend. I'll turn around in a sec, you can see that better. Um, and then just some chains and extra skulls and stuff. So this was a pretty pretty simple, straightforward kit bash. Um, and I'll start kind of by talking about my idea here real quick for this. Um, so as some people might know, the idea for my World Eaters army is that they are actually, uh, while they are Chaos and they are anti-Imperium, they don't want to be with demons. I tr I'm trying really hard to not have any actual demon units in the army or demonic things. So, for example, like my demon engines are mostly stolen Admech robots that have been modified um, and whatnot. So with this, with this guy, my idea is that he was some sort of a Chaos or, or a World Eaters Lord or whatever that Korn was trying to turn into a de Demon Prince. He almost got turned into a Demon Prince and he's actually resisted it or stopped the change in one way or another. Um, and so that's why he's all hulked out, but he's sort of misshapen and, and he, he's like caught halfway in between. So he was able to resist the change into a demon prince, but can't go back to being a normal guy. So he, he is still mortal and he is still a chaos, or, or sorry, is still like a, a space marine, quotes around that. Um, but he, he's all mutated and jacked up on, on, uh, warp powers and what and that's why he's so he's so so hulked out at the moment so i'll give him a little spin and just kind of keep talking about my ideas behind it so for those that uh, know world eaters the big thing with them is that they're all berserkers they have what are called the butcher's nails implanted into their brains and their head and that's basically like a dreadlock of cables and wires going into their brain that just amps up their aggression and, and vi violence and makes them uh, a crazy bloodthirsty berserker. So the Hellbrute head I thought was pretty perfect for that. I'll try to zoom in here. There we go. Um, because it, it is all, it, it's almost like a normal guy's head uh, with the cracked helmet there and then all the cables coming out of his head. And you can imagine maybe what's what's in these uh, the chemicals in there. Maybe that's helping him to resist the change or whatever. Maybe he got them from Fabius Bile or something. Um, one thing that was kind of tough is you will have to, and I'll, uh, you'll see when that picture popped up, you'll have to green stuff new fingers. The hand that comes with the kit doesn't wrap around a weapon nicely, so I had to, those fingers are mostly green stuffed, uh, sculpted by me. Um, I've added that the chain around his wrist with the skulls and the spikes there in the bones. That's all added. That's just normal GW skulls. Uh, he's got these cool bones coming out of his arm. You can see more, more cables and chains and things there. Sorry, it looks like it wasn't focused super good there for a minute. Um, and then this thing coming out of his back. Did I get it to? There we go. Uh, this is his counts as wings. I'm imagining this is just kind of like a custom uh, junked together little booster thing. I'm imagining this guy can kind of do like Hulk jumps uh, and then this is just like the little extra boost that he needs to maybe get up and, and melee an aircraft or whatever. Um, but I wanted him to be able to have that option if I wanted him to have the wings. So this was my, my solution to not having to do great big like that wings because again that just seemed really really demonic and I'm trying, that's kind of the theme of my army is to have it not demonic. Um, a little bit more backstory, I'm a, I, this is like this is like a Mad Max kind of World Eaters force, lots of bikes, lots of vehicles, fast, 
lots of mechanical things. And again, while they're anti-Imperium, they're also like anti-demon. So like any demon stuff that shows up that might even be trying to help them, they just kill it. So this guy is like kind of on the borderline of where his friends might try to kill him too, but he managed to resist it. So he's like, okay, for the moment. Um, you can see there, he, he must have been a Terminator Lord if he's got the Terminator weapons there. Um, yeah. Uh, it was a pretty easy kit bash, honestly. It didn't take me too long. Uh, I just had to get a, a custom base that was the right size to represent a Demon Prince. And yeah, uh, Demon Princes are something that pretty commonly kit bashed by people because the current model kind of sucks. And while this guy is a little bit short, he's definitely wide enough. And th this thing helps a lot to, to add some height to him. And he's on the correct size base. So yeah, that's my custom Demon Prince. I don't know if I'll ever make another one. Um, I think one's probably good for the army, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. And I think it was uh, this was it was a big it was a big uh, not a journey, but like it took me a long time to find a suitable model to make this. And like I said, this is a Necromunda Forge World guy, so it's not something you typically I typically would have looked at or would have seen. But pretty happy with how he turned out. It looks pretty cool. I think I did a decent job painting them. I don't know how well it's showing up on the video, but yeah. Uh, lots more videos coming soon. That Crew Army Showcase I promised you guys will be coming very soon. I'm just finishing up um, Commander Shadow Crew or Crew Commander Shadow Sun actually. So that'll be on the channel soon. So uh, feel free to like and subscribe or don't. It doesn't bother me. And thanks for watching. Bye.